Hey everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make reels like Epta Wiggles. Their designs are usually filled with gradients, but is it hard to make? In this video, we are going to learn how we can create these type of reels less than 10 minutes. So smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and download the project files for free at Patreon. So let's begin. Alright, so here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and we have this reel by Epta Wiggle. So let's just watch. And as you see, the reel itself is really easy in terms of animation. But what I think that makes this reel or any other Epta Visual reels stand out is the way that they design the gradients. And if you want to create these type of wider reels, it's really important to know how to make these type of gradients. Now for this video, we are going to create this scene and I'm just going to create these two sphere in here. Now, there are many ways in order to create gradients in Adobe After Effects. You can use the shape tool or you can use the effects and preset tab. But I personally use the pre-built shape tool in Adobe After Effects. So if you select your shape tool, for example, the lips, and I'm going to create a lips like this. And you click on the fill option in here, you will have four types of fill option. The first one is none, and as you see, we will have no color. The second one is a solid color, which will have one color. The third one is linear gradient and last one is radial gradient. Now for this video, we are going to need the radial gradient. So I'm just going to select OK. Now on the next step, we need to change the color. And as soon as you click on the color in here, uh, there will be a slider, which is important to know how it works. So the bottom points are representing the color. So for example, if I select the left one and I change it, as you see, the color will turn into red, the second one. If I change it, it will turn into blue. Now the top ones are representing for the overall opacity. So if I turn it down, as you see, it will go towards black and you can change it, for example, towards here and pushing the overall color slider to the right will, you know, just the strength of the gradient. And you can do the same thing for the right one as well. So Let's adjust this um, slider, for example, to 75% location, same as this one. So now we will have something like this, which is close to our original design. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to select the color one. And I'm going to turn it, set it on black. And I'm going to select the second one. And let's just set it, for example, to this blue in here. Now, the thing in here is that if I select the selection tool, I will have a line with two point controllers that I can just the light of the sphere that I want. So for, for example, uh, I can just, you know, set it in here. So this will be our blue color. Something that is that we have exactly on the Epto Visual Reel. So in order to make this uh, a gradient more than one color, what we need to do is that we need to duplicate the lips in here. So let's just call this one head and then I'm just going to select the second uh, lips and then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to quickly change its color. Now once I do that, I can just quickly adjust the color. Now one thing that is really important and, you, and me personally or you guys need to pay attention to it is that when you want to change the color, it's really important that you select the second uh, color, not the first one. So this one should be on black and this one we need to set it on purple. So now we can easily adjust the second one. So let's just set it on here. Okay. This sort of seems good. Now, one more time, I'm going to duplicate this ellipse. Let's select the color and make sure this one, we are going to select the second one. And then I'm just going to change this color to the pure white that we have in here. And we can just control this slider one more time. So let's just select it. And we can adjust it sort of like this. And we can just duplicate it one more time. Let's select it. And let's um, change its color.
and I can select the white one. Let's just design it like this. Great. can push this one above the layers if you want to sort of color stack them. Now we will have these sphere in here. So if I like turn off the real for a second, you will see that we have a transparent sphere. So we need to create a background for it. So I'm just going to create a black background. I'm going to push it beneath. So this is going to be our head. And then on the next step, we need to sort of make these colors bright. So to do that, we need to use the deep glow. So I'm just going to turn this radius to, let's say 1000. I'm going to decrease the exposure to 0 0.3. So now as you see, we will have something that is quite similar to what we have the original reel. So now what we can do is that we can also create a body. Now in order to create a body, it will be the same, but the trick is that we don't have something like um, half circle in After Effects. So what you need to do is that you need to create a circle, something like this, and then you need to go towards the add menu and you need to add a trim path. And then you can set the uh, end or start value to 50% and you can change the offset to 90% so we will have something like this now again the same step applies so you need to let's just call it body you need to let's just reveal the original reel and you need to colorize it just like before so I'm just gonna just push it for now in here and then what I need to do is that I'm just going to select the color and I'm going to set it on white. Then I'm just going to control the brightness to something like this. And again, let's go towards the lips, duplicate the lips and then make sure you sec click on the second color and select the purple one and then duplicate it one more time And put this one beneath. And don't forget to add the blow effect into it. There we go. As you have saw, it was really easy and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content. Also, if you want me to create more of these Epta Visual style, please leave a comment at the comment section and let me know so I can create one. Thank you so much. Goodbye.